In the previous video, we used a Photoshop file with multiple layers separated to create the inverse kinematic rig. In this video, we will learn how to use puppet pins and do it bones when we don't have separated artwork. To do this in After Effects, import your new artwork. Go to File, Import, File, select your file, and make sure you import it as a composition retaining layer sizes. Click Open. Now double click to open your composition. Notice that this is just one layer. To use Duik, we have to add puppet pins at the rotation points. Click the puppet pin tool and then click and then click on the artwork where you think it will rotate. Click on the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and zoom in to click on the fingers. If we go down to the timeline, we can see mesh and then deform. We need to label the pins. Puppet pin 4 will be labeled arm, tip. Puppet pin 2 will be labeled hand. Label this forearm. And the last one we can label arm. Now it is time to get the Duic script out. Go to File, Scripts, Run Script File. Select Duic Basel and open. As a reminder, Running the script file this way allows you to use it on any computer, even if you do not have administrator privileges. Click on Rigging, and then Links and Constraints. Here we have the Add Bones button. Select all of your puppet pins, then select Add Bones. Now we have bones where all the puppet pins were. Now it's time to create structures. It's a good idea to lock your artwork so it doesn't move. On the Structures tab, select Arm. Duik has now created an arm structure. We now place this structure where the puppet pins are. It is already placed at the top puppet pin. Click the next one. And then we can hold Command to lock in place. Click the next constraint. Hold Command to snap in place. Then click the arm tip and hold Command to snap in place. Now we need to parent the bones to the arm structures. So for the arm, equip to the arm. For the forearm, equip to the forearm. For the hand, equip to the hand. And for the arm tip, equip to the arm tip. We can now hide the structures and lock our bones. Select all of the structures, then go to rigging, and select Auto Rig. We now have a rigged character with the controller. I can now move the hand, but notice it's quite bendy. This could be a nice effect, but we can fix this. Press Command Z, unlock the artwork layer, scroll down and select the deform layer. And under the puppet pin tool, if you hold, we get the puppet starts tool. We can zoom in and we can click Puppet Starch tool where we want the artwork to not bend. If we do this too much, then it also will look unnatural. So now, if I move the rig, remember to lock the artwork, select the controller, and now I still have some bend, but it is not as bad as before. Remember, I can either leave stretch on, which with a character like this can be very helpful. I can also rotate the hand. I'm going to press Command Z twice. Now, I want to shy all the non-controller layers. I can lock the structures. Click Shy. Now, with the controller selected, press P, Shift, R. Notice that the rotation is easy to remember, but the position is not. We can fix this by zeroing out the hand. Now I have a zero position. I can drop a keyframe on position, move forward a bit, move the hand, move forward a bit, then zero it out. Press N to limit the work area, and then RAM preview. That is how you use puppet pins and bones with Duik IK.